guys and welcome to our scratch tutor tutorial on beginning movement. You may have watched the previous video in which you created some kind of a sprite and a background. If you want to use that feel free but I unfortunately deleted that project. So I'm going to be starting from scratch, ha ha ha, no pun intended, um, with just the scratch cat in the middle and a blank white background. So the first thing I would normally do is choose a different sprite but in this case, I think I'm just going to stay with the Scratch Cat. I mean, I never get to use him, and he is kind of cute. But I am going to need another sprite, so I'm going to go into the new sprite menu from the library, because I'm a pretty bad artist. And I think I'm going to grab myself a butterfly. These are all fairly creepy. Um, I think I'm going to go with Butterfly 2. And... In this video, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to get it to look like this cat, the scratch cat, is chasing this really creepy butterfly. I'm just going to move him off of the poor scratch cat's face. And now to shrink the butterfly because he's kind of the same size as the cat, come up here to the top and just click on this little shrink button and then drag it over and click on the little butterfly multiple times until he's as small as you want him. Don't make him too small. I'm going to leave him at about that size. It's kind of unrealistic, but we don't want people to not be able to see him. And then for the background, just click, go ahead and click on the stage, backdrops. And I showed you in the previous video how to paint yourself a backdrop. I'm just going to be making the same fairly simple backdrop of grass and then the sun up here in this top left corner and then I'm gonna fill the sky in a light blue and the grass in a nice green color that is my standard backdrop that I use when I'm feeling lazy so the first thing we want to do is just choose a starting position for both the scratch cat and the butterfly. I'm going to have that go there. So I think I'm going to program the butterfly to fly somewhere first and then we can have the scratch cat follow the butterfly a few steps behind. So we're going to start off with the code when green flag clicked. Like I said in the last video this is basically how you are going to start a project. I'm going to teach you how to use buttons in a later video but you have to start it by using the green flag. So that's always going to happen. And then now here in motion, because we're basically going to be using this panel for everything, I think we're going to go point in direction. And then it gives you these um, four directions that they've already put in. You can put in your own direction if you want. But I think I'm going to go just to the left which would be minus 90 this way. And then he's going to move 10 steps. And now the scratch cat over here is also going to start off with a when green flag clicked. And then let's go through our motion for a second. Um, oh, we could have him follow the mouse pointer, but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to have him... Um, point towards the butterfly and we're gonna have him always point towards the butterfly so forever you can go ahead and connect all those and then if you go back to your motion we're gonna have him move 10 steps and I'll explain what all this does later after we've tried playing the code if you guys are still confused so we have him pointing in direction minus 90 and moving 10 steps I think I may make that 20 steps and then point in direction. Now you can just go random wherever you want up and have him move 10 steps, point in direction, sure, right. Actually, no, I think I kind of want to, sorry, down and have him move 20 steps and then point in direction right and move 10 steps. Okay, let's see what happens when we click the green flag. It looks like it's glitching right there. So we're going to stop everything with the red stop button. 
and see why that happened. First of all, I think he's moving too fast, so I think we're going to have him move one step. And now I think instead of moving steps for the butterfly, sorry, I'm going to make you just delete some code. This is all going to be trial and error to teach you guys the different blocks of scratch. Go ahead and trash all of your move blank steps. And then I want you to actually, I want you to delete everything that you just coded. You won't do this often, but that clearly didn't work at all. It was all glitching. And then take this block out, the glide one seconds to, and then a random spot. Um, let's see, I'm going to have him glide to x minus 92, y 101, and I get the coordinates from right here. It shows wherever your mouse is, so if I move it over here, the coordinates change, the coordinates change, the coordinates change. I'm going to have him go to minus 119, 93. Minus 119, 93. And then I'm going to have him chill there for one second. And then if you right click on the glide thing and then click duplicate, it will duplicate both parts of code. Glide one second to how about down here, 198 minus 90. 198 minus 90. And then I think we'll just keep it simple for now. We slowed him down and we changed his code. And now he's following him, and he's following him. And let's see what happens once he touches him. He's still going. And it glitches. So we're going to push the red stop button here. This does not mean you have to delete all your code. Just go ahead and click on the scratch cap, and then make a new when green flag clicked. Get yourself a forever loop, and then an if loop. And then go to the sensing area. I know this was about basic movement, but just to fix this one little glitch, we're going to use a few of the sensing options. Take this top one that says touching blank and just try to fit it in to the little area between the if and the then. And click on the little drop down arrow and choose butterfly 2. So when green flag clicked, forever, if touching butterfly 2, then click on the control section and click stop other scripts in sprite. So now what this is going to do is if he ever does catch the butterfly, basically it's going to say, yeah, you caught the butterfly. And since the butterfly's code ends right there, which is where the cat is going to pick him up, then it's all going to work out fairly well. So let's try that. So that obviously didn't work. Why? Well, it starts off by touching the butterfly. So what we have to do is just pick a starting point for our scratch cat. I'm going to move him over here and then you can add to this code go to. There you go. So whenever you move him and you're out of the motion and then you go into the motion, It'll set everything that needs to be set to as coordinates. So right now the cat is at negative 184, negative 122, or it looks like negative 121, as you can see in this corner here. Uh, let's try this now. So he's following the butterfly, following the butterfly, following the butterfly. And then this takes a little bit of time. Do, 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 do. There we go. And his whiskers just touched the butterfly, which means the butterfly was caught. And so this code stopped the scripts in the sprite. Um, quickly explaining the code, I think it's all fairly self-explanatory. When the green flag is clicked, glide one second to this given coordinate, wait one second at that coordinate, glide one second to another coordinate, and wait one second there. You can change these to glide two seconds. See what happens then. The butterfly is just going to move slower, he's still going to chill, and he's still going to move over there. I'm going to stop him. And then for the cat, when the green flag is clicked, go to his starting coordinates that we want him to, and then forever point towards the butterfly. So wherever the butterfly is, he's going to point toward that, which means that when he moves one steps, which 
seems kind of slow, but you saw the speed of that. Um, it's always going to be toward the butterfly to give the illusion that he's trying to catch the butterfly. And then when the green flag is clicked forever, if touching the butterfly, then stop other scripts in the sprite, which means that if he's touching the butterfly, this, um, this code here is going to be stopped. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please just enter them below. Thanks!